want to give a shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for all of the continued support. And I am done. Okay, so I just finished up listening to How to Rule an Empire and Get Away with It by K.J. Parker. This is the second book in the Siege series, and I want to give you my unedited thoughts upon finishing this book, which was just right now. So th this book is a perfect 5 out of 5. This is incredible. Um, it's even better than the first book, and I, I can't say enough positive things about this first book. The first book was... I felt like one of the most perfect books that I've ever read, and this one's better somehow. Um, it, it blows my mind. And, you know, I knew it would be good because sometimes you find an author like K.J. Parker and it just vibes with you like it does like perfectly for me. I mean, he, this guy is a master at writing and it's not for everybody. Um, I totally get that. I could see how the style of his writing just might not vibe for some people, but Man, it is like, it's perfect. I love how witty and sharp it is um, without going too overboard with the way that he does it. Um, it's just amazing. So uh, I was a little worried going to this book, though. Um, I often find myself a little worried about things, especially when I really like the first book, because I get my hopes up. And I, I had heard that the second book and the third book all are very different from each other. Now, that's not what I want to hear when I'm in love with the first book. I want to hear that when I didn't like the first one. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit of a worry for me here. And, you know, I the first book is loosely about this major siege happening and this engineer finds himself leading the defense of the city. So it's this kind of zero to hero, somebody that should have never been left in charge, that is the most capable, capable person possible to be left in charge, um, who ends up... Uh, you know, doing their best to rally the citizens behind them and get things going on a very like systematic, you know, like an engineer would. And it's really cool. And the second book, I'm like, okay, now where are we going with this? And it's a totally different protagonist. That sucks. I very often, way more often than not, don't like it when a, an author takes the courage, and which is very much what it is, to shift up, up a protagonist from book one to book two. And I see it happen a lot, and it, it's ballsy, and it paid off, because the second book um, starts off with this character, Nocta, and Nocta is an actor. He's a very good actor. Um, but there is this siege going on outside the walls, and he, you know he, life is trying to go on. And very quickly on in the story, um, Nocta finds himself, um, and over time he's been uh, tasked with, you know, playing the role of major prominent people in this city. So eventually he runs afoul of the wrong people, and he finds himself uh, with a dilemma. Either he's going to get killed, um, or he can pretend to be the emperor of this um, of this nation, of this of this city state, basically. Because the emperor has died, and not many people know this. Very, very few people know this. Uh, but it's in their best interest to pretend like this emperor is still alive. So enter Nocta. Nocta is going to pretend to be the emperor and continue on ruling um, as, a, as kind of a puppet. And that's the premise of the story. Now, on its surface, this is a wonderful premise that I'm kind of surprised hasn't been done yet. Maybe it has. But that is just that engrossed me from the start. But the way that it develops from that point forward is what makes this from very interesting to genius. Um, and I don't want to ruin anything that happens, but just think about the scenarios that might play out if you found yourself in this scenario. Uh, would you stay a puppet? Would you decide to say, you know what? I've pretended to be this emperor for so long. Maybe I am. Uh, how about I overthrow the people that are handling me? Or would you say... Uh, I'm going to try to follow along, even though it seems obvious that I might want to overthrow these people. Do I even want to be the emperor? Should I, should I want to run, you know, steal the, the coffers and, and run away? Should I want to rule in, in their place and just keep everything and just pretend like this is, this is normal? All of these things go through this main character's head. Finding out the direction that he ends up taking this is wonderful. There's these amazing twists and turns all along the way. Things that I would never have thought up myself. It's just genius writing. Um, and, and it's So the plot, that's the central plot here. And the plot I find to be masterful. 
But that's not the only masterful part of this book. The character writing is absolutely superb. All of these characters are very well crafted. I mean, they don't go through a terrible lot of like development throughout the series. They are who they are. Um, but they're, they're so unique and different and well-written. The way that they talk to each other is awesome. I mean, I love the witty nature of this main character and him trying so hard to make the best of this horrible scenario. Um, you know, I, I, I will say a couple knocks about this book is that it's the only way that this is a fantasy story is that it didn't actually happen in real life because this isn't a story filled with magic or, you know, these strange mythical beasts or anything like that. Um, this feels like a story that could have happened in real life, maybe. I mean, it is, you know, very fantastical in the sense that, you know, how could this all have possibly went down the way that it did? Um, but that's the only fantasy part of it. Now, I don't find this to be a terrible negative, even though I run a fantasy book channel. But yeah, it feels like a historical fiction uh, written in a very witty way. Uh, so I, I will... You know, if you want to call that a knock, um, I would just say it is what it is. Understand that as you're going into this. Um, you know, another major knock on it is something that is quite a negative, but there is a twist in the story um, towards the end, and it just sucks. Uh, it doesn't ruin any of the story. The story is not hinged upon it, um, and it didn't take away anything that happened before or after the moment. Um, but and if you've read this, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, if you're not sure, come into the Discord channel. Link's down below. I'd love to talk to you about it. Uh, it's the best and fastest growing fantasy Discord around, and I'd love to have you. Um, but, you know, it, it's just these – I hate twists where it's like, come on. You know, it makes you roll your eyes. That turn of events could have never happened. It's, it's too coincidental, and that's definitely what happened here. Um, but outside of that, you know – it's it's i i mean the writing quality is just superb i mean this kj parker is is incredible now I, apparently i like people with this kind of name because i got kj parker i got rj barker uh who wrote the tide child series that i love i feel like there's another one too uh and that has a similar you know two initials and something that sounds like arker at the end remind me well, what it is, somebody in the comments, because I know it exists out there. I feel like it's somebody that like made up the name, but I could be wrong about that. Or maybe that's KJ Parker. I don't know. Um, the uh, I, I will I will say that you know just purely from an enjoyment standpoint, you know it doesn't get a lot better than this. I mean, you you've got to like this kind of witty banter. Now, witty it comes off like it means funny. Uh, and that's not what I mean here. It's just like very smart. Now that. Maybe um, it's not that smart and I just find it smart. Uh, I could see some people reading this being like, it's too much. It doesn't, you know, witty is, is something that can very much be in the eye of the beholder. And it can, it can very much work for some people. And what really might work for somebody might really not work for another. So I totally get that if that's, uh, if that's the style here. It almost kind of, you know, I'm, I, just, um, I just started reading um, the opening chapter, I read it a little bit early for the black tongue thief. Cause I was really interested in it and the writing style of the black tongue thief kind of reminds me a little bit about KJ Parker's not identical, but feels really similar. So, you know, if you've read that and you liked it, um, there's a chance that you might like this writing style as well, but yeah, I am, I found a new author that I'm in love with and I can't wait to find out what else this author has written. I know that he's written quite a few books, I think at least a couple other series. So yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait to get the, those. I can't wait to get to the final book in the series. Um, it's like something about conquering the world or something. All of the titles are very, very funny to me. I mean, 16 ways to defend a walled city, uh, you know, how to rule an empire and get away with it. These are funny stuff uh, and, and just intrigue the mind. Uh, and so like, yeah, cannot wait to keep going with this author and this, with this series. Cannot recommend these books enough. You know, is it the best book that I've read this year? No, uh, but I've read some truly, truly top tier books, but this is up there. Um, and when I redo my top hundred favorite fantasy books of all time, uh, this book is very much going to be in the front half uh, of, of those numbers. Uh, probably, you know, 
much closer to one than 50. So uh, yeah, I'll have to really debate it and figure out where it is. When, and quite frankly, both of these books are. And if this last book in the series uh, goes down similarly to the way that these first two went, um, this is going to be one of my favorite trilogies of all time. Um, I don't know what to think because I keep hearing very mixed things from people. I mean, I think I, a predominant opinion that I heard from people is that the first book is incredible and then the next two slack off a little bit. Now, given that, and I think that the second book is even better, am I going to think the third one's even better? I hope so. We'll see. So uh, I'm going to finish it off there. And uh, so check this book out if you like any of those things that I've talked about. I'd love to chat with you about it down in the Discord or in the comments down below. Thank you, as always, and happy reading to you. I want to give another shout out to all my patrons with a special shout out to my Ascendant Tier patrons, Anna, Ben, Brian, CJ, Danu, Darren, Evan, Jamie, Maria, Michael Sugarman, My Book is Lit, Nathan T, Nev's Book Channel, Romeo Mike, Ron Reich, Russell, Ryan L, Sky, and Zion.